benefit of living up a great big hill is that uh, I've been messing about that watch just flat on my battery however I'll have it top of a great big hill and I'll be lucky enough to uh, just do a quick jump start so that was a bit of a nightmare thank you very much um, yeah, bit of a nightmare then so I'm going to it, just thought, oh, I've got to nip out for uh, five minutes. It's a five minute job to do. I'll take the bark out, but I'll test a couple of things. So number one is, um, as you can see, I'm recording on the Hero 4. I'm just going to see because I'll be able to come up now to the Hero 4. Think. Um, and then you'll see on the Hero 7, um, it was a flat battery, so I'll see what it's like on the charging block that I've got, which I'll show you separately. So I've got a 25,000 mAh, which is milliamps an hour. Milliamp, it's not milliamps per hour, it's milliamp hours. Um, so, and it's got wireless. Whee! QR fast wireless charging so I've got that in the uh, in the inside pocket so that's charging you should see this uh, lead here so that's, that's charging the, so the, the idea being that uh, on the longer trips you have to mess about switching batteries I can just leave it powered I'll run on that power all day um, the Hero 4, if I alter the case in this thing, that could be powered as well. So I can go to the power both cameras from the power bank and they'll run all day long as long as they've got memory card. So that's one thing I wanted to test. So the other thing was obviously I wanted to test having the Hero 4 facing me as well as the Hero 7 going that way. Uh, and then I'm also doing the audio I'm saving that to my phone via an app called Parrot um, that's through my Bluetooth headset so when it comes to post-production I should be able to edit all three choose between which camera view I want uh, and choose the audio which is supplied from this thing here I thought, yeah, yeah, Andy Perry, I'll try all that. Because I'm a sad bastard like that, you know what I mean? And, but it's just for the sake of giving me something to fucking play with. However, this is where the nightmare started. So, as I come to messing about putting it all on, I come to messing about putting it all on, and see this little bit on the top here in this case so it's, it, it, it's actually it's sort of broad so it sticks on a clip and the clip pulls it tight so it still works as long as it's fastened but if you flip it off sometimes the clip just comes loose which fucking sods law it did do I said this piece of plastic here this little fucking shitty black plastic fell deep down inside the bag somewhere and could I fucking find where it had gone could I fuck and I was more bothered about What's it got tangled up in? Got the indicator on all that time. That's fucking your fault. Um, so yeah, it was. Um, I was more bothered about shit. Where's that piece of plastic gone? And what's it going to be interfering with? And you know, I, I need to get the bit of the bag safe to work, basically. So I've spent all that time trying to find this piece of black plastic inside a dark and everything else is fucking black underneath there anyway. Um, and it actually fallen into a crevice. So it was safe out the way. But then once I found where it was, I had to get it because it would have been fucking rattling and giving on my tips and my annoying me anyway. So it's there.
So anyway, I, uh, I managed to find it, dig it out. Crashes are deleted. So I'm actually out doing my test now. Uh, that's all I've nipped out for. So it did well. But, uh, I had a quick errand I needed to run. So I'm going to do my quick errand. Uh, I'm going to do it this. Uh, errands that involve going to the pub. But right, I just love it. Spots out on a Sunday. I shall be getting back in and having a glass of wine. I know what it's a uh, fat Dazza Productions and all that lot, and I'm a little bit of fat shit. However, it being Sunday and you know, couldn't be arsed and all the rest of it, but they all look well happy, don't they? Eh? Happy as fucking Larry. Had a job between them. Um, so yeah, and I've just ordered a, uh, so anybody in the Accrington area, uh, anyone living in the Tri-County area, shout out to Heimburn, yeah. Um, so it's, uh, I have a fortune Chinese set me up for two, me and the fat loss. And the good thing about it is, you, you, you get enough, you, you get a main, two mains and a shitload of other stuff, it's never enough, it, it always feeds three of us. Oh, a ginger has some as well. Little lad. Say he's a little lad. 22, should be at home. Should be fucking off, you know what I mean? Well, if you ever listen to this, I'm just bad at telling you. It's about time you move out some. Um, however, he says I'll be leaving before him. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I've had my fucking Chinese coffee. And I'm feeling a bit... Feeling a bit like he is. Bit, bit full. Bit full, his lad. Yeah, feel a bit bloated. However, I do fancy a drop of alcohol to top up the bottle. Fuck it out! 23 quid for a bottle, a plastic bottle of wine last night. 23 fucking pounds. What's worse, not only did I pay it once, I paid it fucking twice. While we were sat there, Cassie Bill Ball, me and her, having a drink, right? Just because it was. I'm not paying the full price if you want for whatever drinks anyway. Um, and normally we, we'll smuggle alcohol in, but we didn't because Fatty didn't fancy putting the uh, the old smuggling bags down, down tits link. So let me down. Let me down. Not good. So, uh, yeah, 23 quid for a bottle of plastic wine. Fuck it out. And I bought two of them. And then Nick just says this because we managed to catch the bus to and from Manchester. The last bus back from Manchester on a Saturday night, kids, right? It's uh, quarter past 11. We managed to get that outside Moon Underwater, or Moon Over Water, or that fucking year, uh, that Weatherspoons, where the bus stop is. We managed to catch that last bus, but I bought and bought a bottle of uh, White Zim Candle, like you do. For a foot change, we're on the way back. Six pound fifty for a bottle, and a bottle of wine on the bus. Probably breaking some fucking law somewhere. Because it's ridiculous, is this country? You can't make fuck all the else somebody tells you you're in wrong. Fair fault. We fucking created it to take it. It's no place. Fucking wrong. Everything you do. Can't smoke here. I have to breathe it. Last night, I was sat there. You could see there was fucking more dust flying about in the sunlight. Right. You could see shitloads of dust flying around, right? Industrial Manchester. Could have been fuck knows what dust flying about in that area. It sticks around for hundreds of years, right? Um, yet people will fucking whinge if you're having a fag anywhere near them. 
But we're breathing in all that shite anyway. Go figure. Give you something to whinge about. He's having a fag, he's probably had to fucking walk out. Next door neighbour will have made him go out because he's coming in through the fucking windows or something. Fucking joke. So he's not walking, she'll be walking. Uh, down to the damaging man, down to cut lungs. But I'm going to fill my body full of fucking shit anyway. 